In recent years, there's been a massive influx of retro culture. Sales of the classic consoles, Polaroid cameras, and record players have all increased in recent years. It's even found its way into the PC peripheral market as evidenced by products such as the Z88 Typewriter Edition. But does this product offer any functional benefit over its more modern counterparts, or is it just trying to capitalize on our newfound need for all things nostalgia? This is the E-Element Super Scholar Z88 Typewriter Edition, or at least that's what I'm calling it. There isn't any official name to distinguish it against its non-retro looking counterpart. This is a typewriter looking version of their popular Z88 board. Uh, this one in particular comes in white, but it also is available in black and in many different Switch variants. It retails for roughly $50, and if you do decide by the end of this review that you want to pick one up for yourself, then please use our affiliate link to do so. That definitely helps us out. First things first, this is only a visual nod to mid-century typing devices. Having had used an actual typewriter every week for several months, this feels nothing like that. It feels just like any other garden variety 10 keyless mechanical keyboard. The aluminum backplate complements the silver accents well and also provides a surprising amount of rigidity. All the letters, numbers, and symbols have been shifted toward the top of the keycap instead of the center like you'd find on an actual typewriter. And this is done because the mechanical switch underneath can't facilitate an LED in the center. So it's moved on top. And for that reason, the numbers and letters are moved toward the top so that they can be evenly illuminated. Now, technically this is a design element found on most mechanical keyboards. It just seems more evident here because when you look at a, a typewriting keyboard, you notice that the letters and symbols are in the center. These slightly concave caps help your fingers feel planted and secure. The outer rings are plastic, although they do look metal, and unfortunately they do appear to scratch easily, so that's something to be aware of. The retro keycaps are comprised of a circular ABS material with a silver ring around the outside, more of a two-tone design like what you'd find on a typewriter. It also is a little bit elevated. They call this a floating design. It makes it look a little bit more like a typewriter keyboard. And this is all done in an effort to make it feel, or at least look, like a mid-century typewriter. It features mechanical switches of the Autemu variety. It offers it in red, blue, and in this example, brown. It features a full row of function keys with easily legible multimedia controls, which is a nice touch. I've seen several of these typewriter looking keyboards on the market, but not very many of them appear to have full spectrum per key RGB lighting like this one does. There are 10 lighting effects in total, but nothing you probably haven't seen before. However, it is all controlled exclusively on the board itself, no additional drivers or software required, which in my book for a budget keyboard is definitely a plus because when they try to implement software on a budget keyboard, it usually ends up like a dumpster fire. So to see all the functionality integrated into the keyboard itself, definitely an A plus for me. And for this particular device, the white and reflective silver really seems to exaggerate the lighting effects. But that's not what you want to hear. You want to know what this thing is actually like to type on. Well, for better or worse, it's really just a mechanical keyboard. At first glance, it may appear that the circular caps would be more difficult to use. At least this was my assumption going into this review. It turns out that there are some added benefits to this unorthodox design. The raised edges help you parameterize exactly where your finger lands on a keycap, making your next stroke a little bit more precise because you know exactly where your finger landed on the previous key. The circular design also means there's more space between the keys, decreasing the likelihood of a fat finger key press. Now, I'm not saying you should immediately go throw out your current keyboard and go pick one up that has circular keycaps. I'm only saying that it doesn't take as long to get used to as you might initially assume. It took me, for example, about six hours of use and I could essentially match my previous typing speed. 
Now I would recommend getting blue switches if you're after that typewriter feel, or at least as close as you can get with a mechanical keyboard. I think mentally when you look at the keyboard and it looks like a typewriter, your mind kind of prepares you for it to feel really tactile and give a lot of strong feedback. So even though this has brown switches, which are fairly tactile on their own, I think mentally you're preparing them to feel more tactile than they are. So I would recommend getting blue switches if that's what you're after. This floating keycap design actually doesn't seem to have the keys any higher than a traditional mechanical keyboard. It does appear to introduce a little bit more key wobble than you might be used to, but it might just be an optical illusion. While I'm not personally attracted to this particular aesthetic, I know plenty of people who are. It seems that intentionally derivative styles and trends are being promulgated over more modern ones. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's important to be cognizant that you may be charged a nostalgia fee for a device that doesn't actually function any better than a modern equivalent. Take this keyboard, for example. It costs $10 more than the same exact keyboard with square keycaps even though it doesn't actually function any different. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or enjoyable, then go ahead and give it a like and check our video description for links to these keyboards and possibly other devices that we've reviewed in the past. And if you want to watch those video reviews, then check those out here. We review mice, keyboards, headsets, consoles, all that fun stuff, PC builds. We have another one coming up soon that you should uh, be ready to watch. Make sure you subscribe so you know when that review is available. And we do giveaways every month, so make sure you check that out in the video description as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.